They knew something we don't. That was a lie many were told. None of our explorers ever found land across the ocean. Yet Jade told many of the younger Tidecasters that an archipelago was out there, just waiting for us. Wait one sec. That. Sorry about that. Anyways, <clears throat> the truth is, our Archon lacked the will to resist. The sorcerers of Tidecasters craved war, but the lost heart at the notion of facing the enemy without uh, Occulted Jade leading the charge. Enough. I don't wish to re uh, revel in the cowardice of the Tidecasters. I made an eye decision to stay. I'm not pretending I'm some brave hero, but at least I'm trying to hold on to some little, uh, little port in the storm. Uh, how do you purify the water? It's impossible to convey the intricacies, but suffice it to say that I must infuse water with grave light energy. This, combined with a trace amounts of alcohol and beastman blood. What? Counteracts the mortifying effects of the old wall's water. I see that look in your eye. What? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, um, uh, what look in my eye? <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, worry not. The Beastmen willingly gift these vital fluids when they can. That's not the issue I was talking about. It's a stirring process, but it produces clean and restorative water. Jaspos's product is an amateur's imitation and will never sustain the, uh, this place in, a, in the long run. That's why I've taken on the insipid moniker as my apprentice to safeguard this process. And unlike most, she knows just when to stay out of my way. What should I know about Jespos? Uh, if only that rock pounder would just, would just listen. Shut. Would just shut up. He loves the sound of his own voice. Unfortunately, his forge is on the upper level, so his solilo uh, soliloquies flow down here to ensure my misery. This place has better acoustics than the Academy of Tides. Lucky me. He thinks because he can cleanse the water, not as well as I do, mind you, that he can uh, pontificate all at all hours of the day. I nearly drowned myself once rather than... Uh, I nearly drowned myself once rather than listen to one of his tir uh, tirades. You know, I knew the moment my body was discovered, he'd be, uh, he'd be raining another righteous speech about cowardice down my corpse. Uh, down upon my corpse. That wouldn't do. Look. I'll say it plain. Jaspos has a big mouth and he talks incessantly about transforming Bastard's wound into something great. But the truth is that the, he's just out for himself. I built this place from nothing and he thinks he can come in and claim it when the hard work has already been done. Not on my watch. I heard a beast woman here held sway. Ah, uh, Reef Town, a curious case, that one. She pawed her way into these caves a year ago with her cubs, a vicious fighter for certain, Bane of the Bane. Bane of the Bane. I'd like to say. She took charge of the tribe, but had a curious way about her. The most fascinating beast I'd ever met. Oddly pensive, strangely polite, and prone to bathing. Huh. Things really got unusual when, after a bloody dust-up with the Bane, Reef Talon healed some other members of the patrol with her touch. I can't say heal with a strange face. Those who had their wounds tended by Reef Talon felt spectacular for a few days, but by week's end, a whole host of new maladies overtook them. Reef Talon was a mystic? She claimed she wasn't, and I've never known a beast to uh, downplay her strength. But as sure as water's wet, she could, she could mend wounds with a mere touch. So she must have had some training. Having seen what her healing did, hindsight tells me why she would be uh, hesitant to discuss her mystic training. What sort of problems happen to those who are healed? We kind of already went over this. Uh, it starts subtle, really, folks. Uh, sleep, sleep less each night, and after days of being sleepless, other things would start go. Tempers, memories, worst of all. 
Okay, talents. Uh, what became a re talent? Uh, a few spans back, patrol of his favor were in the mountains, searching areas struck by Karen's magic. So they said, uh, well, uh, they stumbled on our refuge and being disfavored, uh, were shocked and appalled, not just by our squatting in the old walls, but by the beast men living with us. A few even deferred to Reef Talon during the parlay, and seeing humans look to a beast woman was rather appalling to those iron thugs. Uh, the meaning quickly turned violent. Man, le man leads beast, not the other way around. Such things should not require an explanation. We bested the disfavored, but Reef Talon fled during the altercation. I guess a combination of guilt from uh, warping her fellows with magic and the feeling of shame, uh, shame that her presence aroused with the disfavor to attack us. I have no proof, but I think Reef Talon fled to save us from her. Thank you! I actually agree with that. <clears throat> I continuously find it funny that a good a person who is usually play who usually plays good characters is playing a game where your guy is basically a dick. <laughs> I don't know. Else, I don't know what else to say to that. I don't know what else to say to that. And here I am, trying to be as nice as I can. Anyways, uh, regardless of her specific uh, motivation, I'm certain that she fled deeper than the old walls, not topside. Someone claims she dove into the water. Another claim she a accessed a teleporter. Either way, she hasn't been into the village since the disfavored arrived. If anyone can survive the, survive the depths of the old walls alone, it's Reef Talon. That said, she's been gone a while now, and I'm not sure I'd wager money on her survival to date. What happened to the sleepless? When Reef Talon fled, almost all of the sleepless went with her. Whether they chased her out of anger or fear of being deserted, I don't know. You might find a few here in the refuge, but most of them have taken their chances in the depths of the old walls. Mesli, a woman whose life is already marred by this tragedy of wedlock to Jaspos, was the last person healed by Reef Talon. She is still cogent. Who knows how long that'll last? Poor woman. Ooh. The sleepless grow more detached from reason with each day spent walking. I half imagine most went into the old walls to find death at the Talons of the Bane. If I lost the ability to rest, if my magic was taken from me, I'd probably do the same. Yeah. I mean, that's never good, but... Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, and then it'll be here. All right, what are we working on? Uh. Sometimes my tooth hurts. I think I need. Ugh, don't like that. I do brush my teeth. Sometimes they just hurt. And then the next, and then after a little while, the pain's just gone. Anyways, uh.
That seems pretty good. So this just needs one more point and we can do these. This needs 12. So what that means? Yeah, we'll grab this. Because I do want to start working to get these. What does this do while well, using Fury's Rush? First will now passively attack nearby enemies as she moves. Oh. Probably won't actually get use that. Greatly increases weapon damage while dual wielding. Okay. Uh, verse gains bonus graze precision and graze deflection. Uh, when Verse is defeated, she immediately attacks all nearby enemies. That could be good. But we do also have here, because I do kind of want to get unbound. Along with... Huh. Yeah, we can grab that. We'll, we'll just grab that. Boom. Oh, he's pretty close to leveling up. Okay, so... There's some stuff we need to grab. Oh, where do you go? Do you have eyes on this? They handle themselves well enough, but it would be better to seal the breach in their defense. Probably. We'll take a look at that here. We'll talk to them here in a second. What? Are, what's in here? Huh, no one really to talk to. But I will grab all this loot. So, uh... Excuse me while I'll take all this. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Fate Binder work. Fate Binder work. Pay no attention. Just Fate Binder work. I need the stuff. <clears throat> Anyways. Welcome to our little refuge trip binder. You're here to help us keep the wound clear of Bane? Are the Bane constantly showing up like that? Welcome to our headache. The way the Bane come and go, you'd think the teleporters were uh, beaded curtains. Luck uh, lucky for us, the beasts seem to love killing Bane. They'll put in more hours on sentry duty than any human, and I welcome the extra sleep. What's through the portal? That goes deeper into the, uh, the untamed old walls. We send patrols out to sharpen the beast's claws and lighten the lumber, uh, numbers of Bane, but we haven't exactly mapped it. How'd you get that name? Inspired Insipid Moniker. A funny story, that. There's a piece of, uh, here, there's a piece of advice they should give every new chorus contrib, but don't. Verse belts abruptly before clapping a hand over her mouth, swallowing further chuckles. Somebody made the mistake of asking the voices of for a nickname, didn't she? <laughs> oh, okay. 
I could have been uh, sh I could have been shites for days or bleeding sores if I'd waited long enough. Even hindsight would be more appropriate. What do you do here? Uh, whatever Wagstaff wants. Guess you can call me an apprentice. I can read, which is more than most can say. It's more subtle than the red work of the chorus, but I don't mind change of pace. So the blue is to, uh, is to honor Wagstaff? Exactly. Effer iced half my gang with his spell, so now I fight for him. Those are the rules. In a twisted way, I think the voice, uh, voices would approve. Not that his approval is any safer than, its, than his wrath. Ah, well, I'll be going then. Well, that was... So oh. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, so... You are better than Vengeon Garden Brawn Dagger. Okay, so we'll replace that. Or... Oh, you are the uh, uh, bronze dagger. Um. Oh, you're better than either one of them. Then we'll uh, replace the bronze dagger. Still loot in a few places, so. Uh, if you're wall, wall smart, shops wall smart. Shop walls. Welcome to Walls, Mark. Get your shite and get out. I'm working on cries to drive custom. What do you think? I'd start from scratch. Ah, well, I suppose you're the judge. I really thought it was on to something. I stock the staple foods. Anyways, uh, let's see what you have to offer. As you wish. Um, I'm definitely going to buy all of those. Oh, and all of those. What does the fruit do? A fruit plus one wit. Okay. Vitality. Resolve. Um, I'll take all that for now. Just make that your slogan, buddy. Get your shite and get out. Ah, crap. Ah! Uh, you probably want these. You probably want these. You have all those, so I'll give you these. Must be testing out their strength, so I'm gonna... you fey binder let me be the first to tell you uh, tell you that all my licenses are all well in order signed and sealed this very year 
No reason at all to ransack my cart or confiscate my goods. I trade whatever I can get my hands on these days. Here to have a look. Sure. Uh yes. 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 I have not learned this one, so I'll grab that. Thank you. I'll grab you. Uh sure, yeah, we'll just grab all of it. Thank you. Um trade. I've already talked to you. Anyways, uh, a broad-shouldered woman in disfavored remnant dangles against the nearby column, suspended by her wrists. Though still garbed in the iron breastplate of her unit, she is without helmet and appears unusually at ease in her com comprised position. A nearby settler engages in friendly conversation with the disfavored. She peers down at him, listening with dutiful patience. The last lure hooked that trout just fine, but it took the whole thing downstream with it. Oh, uh, the knot gave out. I wrapped the line several times, just like you said. You aren't fiving me, are you, are you Sophia? What stays your hand, Fate Binder? We must uh, write this injustice immediately. What's the soldier's crime? Her? Oh, it's hardly my place to say. Far be it for me to posture like I'm a leader or lawbringer. Looks like you have the com um, uh, you have company. Talk later, Sophia. Good hunting then. As the settler turns away, the bound soldier takes note of your approach. Tell Sophia to find you in this cesspool of trespassers. Worry not, we shall release you from this bondage at once. Wait, who the- Beric? Is that you? No, please, leave me be. I am sworn by duty to slay these fools, and sworn by honor to see to their safety. It is easier to have no choice in the matter. I am sworn by duty to slay these fools and sworn by honor to see to their safety. It is easier to have no choice in the matter. I've judged them free to live, so I can't exactly set a killer loose. You understand me exactly. Thank you, Feinbinder. I'd salute an officer of the court if I am somewhat indisposed at the moment. How'd you end up at the column? A few spanned back after Karen was finally declared rogue, the general wanted folks looking for what made Karen lose his sanity or lose or his loyalty, depending on your outlook. A unit played escort for a team of earth, uh, earth shakers as they retraced Karen's journey through the tears. We were hit the gates of judgment and came across a crevice which happened to be, well, The, uh, a middle-aged woman walks by, by while clutching woven basket, giving to Sophia a wave. The disfavored soldier nods in return. Good day, Eusia. Uh, uh, oh, she seems really. Oh, okay. You sure seem to be on good terms with the locals. <clears throat> they're rather, they're rather lovely folk, despite all of them being Kairos. Uh, Kairos mocking scum, deserving slow, slow deaths. She attempts a limited expression of a shrug. Oh, where was I? We paused to investigate only to find this nest, this hive. Trespassers uh, living with beasts as equals. All of it an abomination. Well, there was no choice but to put uh, put them to the sword. We fought well, but our advance fell apart when the coward Arg and threw up his arms and surrendered. He broke ranks and left us exposed. If I hadn't been uh, knocked senseless... I would have executed him myself. Woke up hoisted on the, up on this wall, and I've been here ever since. How are you still alive? Raven Ash protects. The general's ages can sustain us through far more trying circumstances. Huh. Uh, my wrists are mangled, and I've been tired and hungry for longer than I can remember. But I'm far from death's door. The settlers feed me just enough to keep going. I'm sure I smell worse than a beastman's dung heap, though. Why don't the settlers just execute you? They have, in a, uh, they have, in a sense, the beast woman 
uh, leader of the local pack, ordered that I be strung up until dead. Guess she didn't understand Ash's aegis. So, who's laughing now? Nobody wants to anger the resident, uh, resident bane hunters, so the beasts must have their way. I've had plenty of time to get acquainted with the locals while I perish. It's almost a pity they're all doomed under Kairos. Weird turn of events, really. Excuse me. Uh, well, I must be going. Oh. Oh, it's oh, our game right here. A man clad in frayed remnants of his Earthshaker uniform focuses intently upon dark stones held in a uh, cup of hands. His eyes move from one piece to the next. He hears your footsteps and shifts his gaze to meet yours. Fatefinder, forgive me, I didn't see you. Jaspos has me performing these exercises to attune my senses. To uh, see the shapes hidden within the rock. Flustered, he quickly tugs on the hem of his shirt and strains his belt. I may not be with his favorite anymore, but I still recognize the Fate Binder's authority. Is there something I need you need from me? How does an Earthshaker end up in the company of uh, this motley? I'm the odd man out, I know. After Karen had been declared a criminal, Graven Ash charged us with scouring the Archon's belongings and retracing his path. I was with the group headed to the Gates of Judgment. As we cut west across the mountains, we came upon this place. Of course, any association to care didn't make me popular with the Legion. Telus uh, Sophia was all eager to, be, uh, to remind me that if Cairn's treachery were ever to come to light, all Earthshakers would likely be executed for assumed collusion. So you'll forgive me if, after stumbling upon Bastard's wound and facing insurmountable odds in battle, I decided to surrender rather than join my hateful companions in death. What do you think the bastard's wound? I find myself at home here, even if everything about the old walls seems anti antithetical uh, to life. Uh, if the bane don't kill you, the water will. Without Jaspos, this place wouldn't exist. The old walls have always been invigorating spaces for mages of my ilk. They're like untapped fonts of magical energy in the ancient ma masonry. Inspiring. What was life like to the people that shaped these massive walls? You speak well of Jaspos. Jaspos is many things. Teacher, husband, companion. He's teaching me to connect with stone in a deeply personal way. Earthshakers manipulate rock, but we don't feel or shape them with the intimacy of the forge bound. Oh. I could go a long ways. Anyways, uh, what do you got to say? With a dis despondent sigh, the forge-bound smith unfastened the strap uh, around one of her pauldrons and drops the metal appendage to the floor, exposing a muscular figure. She quickly chases a sigil with her ungloved hand and touches a hammer dangling from her smock, frowning as it suddenly remains insert, uh, inert and unsympathetic to her magical entries she glances up as you approach oh is this his oh is this jaspos is oh, this jaspos's wife sorry fate binder my spellcraft hasn't been a cooperative late i take it you're not here to talk about my preoccupation anything in particular you'd like to discuss what do you do in the forge i'm jaspos's apprentice I've been for, uh, so for the last few years. Oh, is okay. Maybe not. Okay, this may not be his wife. Anyways, uh, napping wasn't originally my specialty. I apprenticed under Master Erisma back in Lethian's Crossing, but a freak accident meant that she'd take her secrets of the ceramic art to the void. Jaspos had just finished his work and was returning north for more training with the guild, so I joined him. Long story short, uh, we stumbled upon the wound and stayed, and I took on a new trade with Jaspos as my mentor. What happened early with the hammer? I was embarrassing myself again. Seems uh, like that's my only reliable talent these days. 
I thought it was a competent napper, practically a journeyman in skill. Lately, even the simplest pre uh, preparatory spells vex me, like that sorry dis uh, display you witnessed. Uh, something about this place is ho uh, hollowing me out from the inside. Whatever forge burns inside grows cold. Let's let's not. You're becoming one of the sleepless, aren't you? Uh, I think I am. I started when I broke my hand under the mallet. Rookie mistake. I asked Reef Town to heal it, but things have gone sour ever since. Can't sleep. Can't summon a sigil to save my life. Worst of all, my... She lowers her hand down to her stomach, frowning as she's as she thinks better. Say, 